Okay, welcome back. As promised, this is going to be a back-to-back um, channel, uh, what am I saying, episode, um, because I just started the channel and put up an introduction, so I just want to get on with the first episode, I guess you might call it, um, and this is a product review. So I've got the, um, what do you call it, I keep wanting to go again, um, this is for the um, YouTube thumbnail. I just keep I keep forgetting to call it a thumbnail. I, I don't know why. I can't I can't think of calling it a thumbnail. Skin. I keep thinking skin, that which is a gaming term. Um, obviously. Um, I guess livery might be another thing I could say. But um, anyway, that's that's my hand produced thumbnail for this, which is a product review of Schmenker paints, uh, watercolor paints to be uh, precise. So the reason why I'm motivated to do this is that I just got this, and I'm pretty excited to open it up and share it with you. So this is one of the biggest sets. It's 48 colors, but they actually have way more than that. They have 140 colors, I think, somewhere in that vicinity. Um, I am going to link, put some links down below so that you can go and have a look at the Schmenker website, but also I might link through to Amazon. This is not an endorsed um, product or whatever, um, what is it, brand. Um, a um, Sponsored? Far out. Um, okay, it's not sponsored, um, but it is something I use all the time. I'll show you my daily driver in a minute, but this is pretty exciting. There's some sort of warranty card there. Um, I'm just taking things out of the box now. Um, what is actually the first thing I spotted, which is worthwhile, is there's this um, color card. Because you can paint um, against the colors as you unwrap them, um, what they are, and then put them on that color card. It does go that way. Um, so I will use that because uh, sometimes it's hard to keep track of the actual um, colors that you like in case you need to buy more. Um, because once you unwrap them, and I should show you, here's an example. This is one of the little... Um, what do you call them? Pans, I think they call them. It's a half pan. There's ones you can get that are double the size, but a half pan, this will last forever. Trust me. This is a beautiful color too. This is, um, what is it? It's cobalt turquoise. Um, but this is a spare one that I had for my daily driver. I'll show you, I'll show you that. This is, this is the one that I use at the moment. And this is really my introduction to Schmenka paint. So you can see that's kind of rainbow colors. And the reason why I would make use of something like this um, is that if you look at that, what looks like green down here, this actually comes out looking yellow. Um, it doesn't look very green at all once you, you apply it to paper. And then of course I've got two yellows down here and they, they look very similar. And in fact the same with the two reds here, but there's obviously some difference to them. And that brings me to... Um, there's so many colors, but there's also differences in how the colors um, react to paper. So I'm fond of using cold press paper or rough paper because I've found that watercolor sort of floats on top and there's a lot more you can do with moving it around. Uh, hot press paper, watercolors just seem to sink in a lot quicker so that there's not much time to move colors around. So if, you, if you're wanting to do large washes, then hot press is going to sort of um, trip you up because you're going to end up with seams and lines as to where the color dries before you start the next layer of color. And it's quite hard to get even surfaces with watercolor. Um, this is actually from Schmenke, and I will link to this, but it tells you about the light fastness of different colors. So some have very good light fastness, and if you don't know what that is, it's just basically how well they stand up to natural ambient light. So some things will fade over time quicker than others. Some will be very light fast and last a very long time. I should say that Schmenke is a German company, so they're very well made. Um, it's probably top of the line stuff, but I'm interested in your opinions. So if you've got a brand of paint, watercolor or otherwise that you like to use, um, please comment below. Tell me what it is uh, and why you like it. I like um, I like Schmenker because it's really good viscosity. It's got good opacity. Um, a lot of the things that they talk about here, um, staining and non-staining. So some of the colors... You can leave them for a while. Um, they test them for up to 24 hours, actually. You can leave them and come back to it. You can still work it, and some of the color will start running again. Others, it'll be, um, uh, well, it says um, non-staining, so it'll fix pretty quickly, and so you won't be able to move it around. 
And I guess over a longer period of time, you don't really want your watercolors to start moving around again if you spill, say, water on them. But then by that stage, you've either stored them away or you've framed them. Uh, um, I mean, it's a little different to using gouache, which gouache is always in a um, potential uh, liquid state. If you if you add any water to gouache over time, even years years later, it'll um, don't know what technical term for it, but it'll mobilize again and start moving around. Watercolor can fix quite well to paper, but again, it depends on the quality of paper, quality of the watercolor. Um, yeah, op opacity, they do talk about. Um, granulation, that was interesting because I've noticed it and I didn't really understand it. And it's not about quality, but some of the colors, um, they will kind of give a sort of a lumpy look, a sort of granulated look, meaning that when you wash them, um, rather than a nice smooth texture, you actually will see um, color variation, sort of spotted color variation. I'm not sure if there's a really, you know, this is a printout. Maybe this will help you see what I'm saying. Um, see how that kind of looks like a, the, a moonscape, a sort of like looking at some rough texture? That's granulation that some of the paints do as opposed to this one, which is smooth. Um, sorry about the lighting. It is low lighting in here. Um, and I should open this puppy up so that you can see. It doesn't come with a brush, which is fine. Um, there it is, 48 colors. Damn it. I should have expected that. Okay. Um, I hope I haven't damaged my laptop, which is right here. Anyway, there you go. I should have got it out like that. Um, it's not live, but I'm not editing any of my videos. So there you go. You're going to have that. But that's... Um, that's the full range of colors. So that's what I'm excited about opening up soon and getting to see just how the colors look, putting them on this um, paper, and then um, getting to creating more of these as I go on. So if you haven't seen, in my introduction, I talked about creating unique um, thumbnails by using my paints and stuff. So um, I'll put that down there. All right, well, it's kind of good that it fell out because I wouldn't have necessarily had a look at that. So I guess you can use um, these areas for mixing your paint as well. Um, it's a little bit different to the small set that I've got here where I guess uh, this, this doesn't actually come out. That's why I got tripped up by that because that actually is fixed in there whereas this one does come out. And I lost one of the colors that just popped out there. So pretty exciting stuff. Um, what else can I say? It is premium quality, so it is more expensive than your average. I had someone try and tell me that the best watercolors are the kind you get in a tube. Well, these are exactly the same as the kind that come in a tube. So it really depends on your preference. So you can get all these colors in tube which means squeezing it out and using as you go. But what I like about these is that they sit in a pan, um, you get them wet, use them, and then they just dry out, and then you can come back to them. And it must be something to do with um, the sort of the, the medium that they use. I think they describe it here, um, premium quality. Here, excuse me, this is some dead air as I try and find. Yeah, they have a star rating. They have a sort of a little... Um, Sort of legend on on what um, the different elements of each different paint is so that's kind of important that's another reason to sort of keep track of the paints you use and, and what they're doing and and what you want them for um, i think there's only four colors that have no light fast light fastness and that those are um sort of like um i want to say neon colors but um bright fluorescent that's the one um so those fluorescent colors will fade quite easily over time um, but they talk about they use the best kind of fixing agent and that's what helps them go liquid and then go back to a solid state. I won't bother finding that anyway. Um, so thanks for watching again. Um, I'm going to check my computer and make sure I didn't damage it because it's a new computer. Although I'm having sound issues to be honest so I'm going to see how I go editing the sound. And apologies again I'm using a little handy cam. It's going to be grainy, um, and of course the sound's not great because of the it's a built-in um, microphone, and so yeah, there you go. That's the best I can do at the moment. But hopefully, if you subscribe, if I monetize this in any way, then it's all going to go back into producing work and uh, getting better equipment. So thanks for your time. Um, those are Schmenker paints. Honestly, um, they're the best in my opinion, and. 
I've been using them for probably up to 15 years now and I haven't had any problems. It's amazing. Okay, thank you and good night.